Vegan Italian Sausage Taste Test. Hey Rangers, just wanted to mention this video is quite a long one. So we've included some timestamps to certain points of interest in this video in the description for your convenience. Enjoy. Hey everybody, it's Vegan Ranger here. And uh, today we're gonna do a comparison on Italian sausage. Um, I'm sure everyone's been looking at recipes and found a good jambalaya or uh, Italian sub or pasta and you're just wondering, well, what's a good sausage I can use to cook into this? There's a lot out there uh, and most of them are pretty good. So uh, what I've got here is I've got five different brands and we're gonna go ahead and cook them up and do a taste uh, comparison and let you know what I think goes best in what. Okay, first of all, we've got Beyond Meat, Beyond Sausage. It's a plant-based, pea protein-based uh, hot Italian sausage. Next, we have the No Evil, uh, Italian sausage, the stallion. Next to that, we have tofurkey, a uh, soy based, tofu based, excuse me, uh, Italian sausage. Uh, field roast, which is a just a vital wheat gluten and uh, vegetable based with, um, excuse me, grains and vegetables. And then we have the uh, Light Life uh, Italian Smart Sausage. So now we're ready to get started, but before we start cooking, what I'd like to do is go over what the ground rules are. We're going to uh, rank each of these products in three categories. First is texture. Is the texture favorable to you? Um, is it uh, something that, is that it doesn't have some kind of weird texture? Uh, taste. What is the taste? Is it strong on one side or a very high wheat gluten type of taste, or is it is it more... Um, uh, middle of the road type of taste and three quality now quality that's you know it's going to be my opinion on it but I think if you look at it from the perspective of you're doing a jambalaya or you're doing sausage pasta and you're taking it to work and you're the only vegan in your office for the potluck and you want your co-workers to enjoy your food and not realize that it's vegan so that's kind of where we're going with the the quality on it. We want to make it as close to sausage as possible. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our uh, induction plate heated up here. I've got just a little bit of uh, coconut oil, refined coconut oil in the pan to keep it from uh, sticking and uh, we're going to go ahead and cook up each of the sausages and then um, go ahead and do the taste test after that. So. Let's get started with the uh, Beyond Meat. Okay, so you're gonna cook these about six minutes. And you can see they're already starting to brown nicely. Uh, and just so you know, I, like I mentioned, the refined coconut oil, uh, I use refined coconut oil so it doesn't give the, you don't get a coconut flavor in your food. And it also, it's, it, it works really well with this. What you want to look for here is just getting a nice brown on each side and I just want to keep turning them. And again, if you're cooking out on the grill outside with these, same concept. You just want to get a good grill uh, stripes and some browning on it. Uh, they'll start stiffening up a little bit and you'll know they're done about then. Um, now, like I said before, I'm cooking on an induction uh, cooktop which allows me to control the temperature. And this temperature is set at uh, 450, and I'm using a Curtis Stone uh, skillet, which is really good because it's nonstick. I really like these uh, uh, his uh, pots and pans. And so I think we're about done with the uh, Beyond sausage, getting nice caramelization on it. Looks really good, and smells delicious. All right. Okay, uh, Beyond Sausage are done. Clean the pan out a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and get the No Evil sausages ready. First of all, let me put a little coconut oil back in the pan. 
And now these, as you see, they have a uh, casing on them. So you just want to remove the casing. And I'm sure that's, this is probably a lot easier than I'm going to make it. You can feel the difference in the texture in these right off the bat because these come out uh, a little bit stiffer than the uh, Beyond Sausage, a little more dense. And uh, so you got to really keep an eye on these because these are probably going to uh, be more apt to burn on the outside before you get the temperature up on the inside. So we're uh, just about done with these. We got a nice caramelization on the outside there. And those look delicious, so I can't wait to try those. Let's set these off to the side, clean my pan out, and we'll go right into the uh, next one, which is the field roast. And as you can see, these also have a casing. And again, however you can get it off is fine. I just as soon give it a little slice, pull the casing off. That way I'm not trying to unravel and unwrap it because you can very easily break your sausage when doing that so okay so we're back sorry about that as you saw um, I got a little crazy with the knife got a little slice on my thumb no big deal but I will tell you that other sausage I don't know if I got blood on it or not so we got rid of that one, so I'm only going to cook three here. Three on this one. So we're going to go ahead and continue on. These are the field roast uh, sausage, and we'll get these going. So we're going to go ahead and get these off and get these on the plate and get on with the next one. Okay, field roast is done. Let's move on to the Light Life Smart Sausage. All right, so let's get these uh, Light Life now. Just a little bit about Light Life. Um, my wife doesn't particularly care for Light Life that much. The hot dogs, I love them. I think they're the closest thing to a real hot dog out there. I'm really interested in seeing how these taste because I've not had these before. I think these are about ready to come off the skillet. They look like they're Yeah, these are ready. Okay. All right. There we go. And that's the Life Light Smart Sausage. So let's get these last ones in. Oh, yeah. And these are the... Oh, come back here, you. Jeez, it's Christmas. All right. Okay. Okay, so we're ready to start prepping for the taste test now. Um, I put each of the sausage into the pan here on low heat just to keep them warm so uh, we don't get them cold. It's a little bit chilly out tonight. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take each one out. I'm gonna cut a couple of slices, put them on the plate. Once I'm done cutting a uh, couple slices from each of the sausage, then we'll go ahead and start the taste test. So let me go ahead and get this started. We're going to start with the tofurkey. And again, this is the tofu based. And this is uh, the texture. You got, with texture, you got both a visual texture and you got the feel texture in your mouth. So uh, here, uh, the visual on the tofurkey looks pretty good. Um, it's not too stiff. So uh, that actually looks pretty good. And let's move on to the Light Life. And again, be careful with the knife. I don't need to slice myself up again. Oh yeah, this is pretty good texture here. Um, it's soft, but not too soft. Looks pretty good. So, okay, there's the uh, tofurkey. Let's get the... Uh, 
Next one is the field roast. I'm determined to cut myself with that knife again. Okay, this looks pretty good also. Um, you can see the uh, red pepper and some of the veggie items that are in that. That looks really good. From a visual on that texture, that looks nice. All right, next we got the uh, No Evil. All right, let's see what we got here. Now this one, right off the bat, this is a little bit harder, um, just from a feel. Yeah, it's a little bit drier too, so I'm not real sure about that. We'll see how that works out. Um, I like I like my sausage a little softer. And okay, last but not least is the Beyond Meat Sausage. And again, this is a very nice, soft. And this smells really good too. That just kills me how well that smells. And you can see that that's soft. That's most like um, the, the Beyond Meat and the uh, Life Light seem to be the most sausage-like uh, texture of the five. Let's go ahead and get started with the comparison. And what I'd like to start with now, uh, first of all, is to reorient you to what we have here. Uh, here on your right, my left, we have the Tofurky uh, sausage. Next to that is the Light Life sausage. Then the Field Roast, the No Evil, and then the Beyond Meat. Now, we're going to take a look at texture again. Now again, texture is visual and when you get it in your mouth, how does it feel in your mouth? And what I want to point out, and we'll start over here with the Tofurky, uh, you can see uh, it looks like it's got a pretty good texture. It's uh, not real dry, a little dry, but you can see the uh, vegetables and the spices in the meat. Next to that is the Light Life, and again, uh, nice soft texture. You can see the herbs and spices in there looks really good. Um, next to that, the field roast. Again, lots of visual in there. This is even a better looking texture than the um, Tofurky. Comparable to the Light Life in the, um, uh, in the, the uh, spices and the uh, vegetables that are in there, it looks pretty good. Next is the No Evil. And uh, this, the No Evil is a, is a bit harder texture, stiffer. You can still see, get a good visual on the um, ingredients in the sausage. But um, if you like a harder, more dense sausage, then this, is, uh, this one is definitely more dense and harder. Last but not least is the Beyond Meat Sausage. And again, very soft, good texture. Uh, you don't see the... Uh, mix of the ingredients in this as much as in the other ones but uh, this has got a real I, I would say that this is probably this is comparable to the field roast in the uh, light life but I think this is more comparable to what a real sausage would look like so um, that's the uh, texture uh, again uh, Beyond Meat, Field Roast, Light Life seem to have the Bex texture. Tofurky looks pretty good, and the No Evil quite dense. So pick it from there, and whatever type you like, go for it. Okay, so now we're going to get on to the taste test. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and judge the texture, how it feels in my mouth, and then how the flavors are. So we're going to start with the Tofurky, and uh, let's see how this is. Hmm. That's actually very tasty. Texture is good. Um, it's gotten a little dry sitting out here, and I'm not going to let that uh, sway me any, but... Um, uh, I think it's not a bad texture. It's a little bit dense, but still, it's very tasty. There's a, a good note of the herbs and spices, and, um, and it's very good. So, 
I like that. All right, let's move on to the light life. And again, this was one that had the better visual um, texture. So let's see how well this one does. Mm. That is delicious. Texture wise, I think it's, it's really good. Um, it's good and soft. The skin, the casing is just stiff enough to where it counters the softness of the interior. The, um, the spices in it are good. I, I, I would put the spices uh, second to the tofurkey. Not as strong, uh, but you can still get a little bit of a hint in the back of it. So I like, I like the texture, I like the taste of that. That's really good. So now let's try the field roast. Mm. Mm, that's very good. The texture on that in my mouth is kind of in between the tofurkey and the light life. It's uh, a little bit stiffer than the light life, but a little bit softer than the tofurkey. Also, on the, the, the fennel, the garlic, the red peppers, you can actually feel and taste them much more in, uh, as, you're, as you're eating it. This is very good. I would put this one as the best of the three so far. Um, texture really nice, uh, consistent, very good. All right, let's move on to the um, uh, No Evil. Well, I really like the taste of this. The um, texture is very dense and firm, but this has really got a good texture, a uh, good taste. A um, little bit of a kick in there, a spicy kick, which I like. Um, not a lot of the herbs, but I'll just a little bit, a touch of herb, and that, that little hotness on there makes that taste pretty good. But you're going to have to like a dense type of sausage to like this because... It's a little dry and dense and not my particular favorite uh, as far as the texture goes, but very tasty. Okay, last but not least, Beyond Meat. And this is the one that has the best visual, I think, on the texture. Man, from a texture wise, this is almost perfect. It, it's just the right consistency to where it, it almost melts in your mouth as you're eating, as you're chewing it. And it's, it's, I think, the best texture. And the taste on this, it's got a little bit uh, smoky flavor and that hot, a mm, little bit of a spicy aftertaste. Without question, I think the Beyond Meat is the best. All right, so that ends the taste test. Next, we're going to talk about quality overall, which we think are the best. Okay, so now we've done, uh, we've looked at texture, we've uh, had a taste test, we kind of got an idea which ones we like on those two aspects. And so now let's talk about quality. Um, uh, when we're talking about quality, we want to, you know, it's a combination of the taste and the texture how well you can use the product in, uh, in recipes, and how well it's received with your non-vegan friends. Because for me, it's important. I want people to um, understand that uh, vegan food is not uh, quinoa and kale. I mean, there's a wide, wide variety of very good products out there that taste great. And if you use your imagination in preparing them, you can have fantastic meals. And you can have your non-vegan friends not even realize they're eating vegan food. And I think that's the supreme t t test in quality. So, 
Uh, we'll start here with the uh, uh, Tofurky. Um, I think this is a uh, pretty good. Um, I would uh, rate this on a quality scale of one on a quality scale of one to ten. Ten being uh, the best and the most uh, uh, versatile uh, product. I would say this is probably uh, a five, a high five. I would say uh, it's pretty good. It's got a good taste. The texture is not bad. Um, a little bit uh, on the dense side, but still. A good product. Uh, next is the light light. On that same scale, I would uh, I would say that this is probably going to uh, get you probably about a six or a seven. I'd say a high six or seven. Um, again, good texture, good taste. It feels good in your mouth. And I think that um, if you if you cook this up and you put it on a hoagie bun with some. Uh, uh, peppers and onions and maybe some marinara sauce this you probably wouldn't even be able to tell that you're eating a, a non-meat product uh, the field roast I'm gonna put that in the same category as light life I'm gonna rate those exactly the same a high six or seven same description on the um, on using it in, in a um, in a hoagie uh, I, I don't think anyone would notice and, and again with both of these I think uh, if you put them in, uh, cut them up and put them in a pasta or a jambalaya, you wouldn't really be able to tell that you're not eating uh, a meat-based sausage. Uh, the No Evil, um, I'm going to have to give this one kind of a low one because, and this is personal preference because I don't like, <coughs> excuse me, I don't like the dense nature of this product. It's um, it's a little bit too dense. It might be okay in, in pasta, in, in, in um, jambalaya, but I don't think it would hold well as a, um, as a hoagie. So I, I'm gonna rate this kind of low. I'm gonna put this at about a three as far as the quality uh, index. Now, Beyond Meat, um, I gotta tell you, uh, this is my favorite. I think the uh, texture and taste on it uh, helps push that quality index up. And I think this on a hoagie, this in, uh, in any uh, dish that you make is going to come across like sausage. And I think that your non-vegan friends or your co-workers would eat this and not realize they're not eating a meat-based product. This would get... Uh, this would get a eight and a half or a nine in my book. This is really the best. Now, from a perspective of where you're uh, going to use these, I think the field roast and the light life and the Beyond Meat are more suited to the hoagies. Uh, they'll work well in the um, in any other type of dish. I think the tofurkey would hold up better in a jambalaya, just because it's a little bit denser. And it, and it uh, maybe won't react so much to it. But as far as uh, the quality goes, I would go uh, Beyond Meat, Field Roast, and then Light Life. <laughs> Sorry. You keep write that up. You need to put a little dense. <laughs>